Welcome to day 66 of the guided tour. Uh, we're in Micah chapter 6, and uh, the title is Pollution Spreads. Danger signs show up in the south too. Verse 8 is the highlighted passage, and it reads, And what does the Lord require of you? To act justly, and to love mercy, and to walk humbly with your God. Just as pollution from one country can drift in over and spoil its neighbor's air, so moral pollution can spread across national boundaries. Earlier prophets denounced the evils of the northern kingdom of Israel. As the years grind on, that same decadence spreads like an epidemic through Judah in the south. Cult religions and sexual perversions proliferate. God's temple falls into disrepair. One notorious king, Ahaz, goes so far as to offer his own children in human sacrifice. Micah appears on the scene in Judah around the same time as Amos is blasting Israel in the north. Like Amos, Micah is a country preacher with severe words of warning. He takes no joy in the message of judgment he must deliver. Because of this, I will weep and wail, he says. I will go about barefoot and naked. I will howl like a jackal and moan like an owl. Micah gets emotionally caught up in his message because he lives in perilous times. Judah watches in fear as Assyria, the chief power of the day, dismembers the northern kingdom. What will keep Judah from a similar fate? That very prospect is what makes Micah howl like a jackal. My people, what have I done to you? God asked through Micah in verse 3. God reviews the history of his chosen people, reminding them of his great works on their behalf. And Micah makes clear that God desires true, heartfelt change, not just a veneer of religion. Micah darkly concludes that his people, afflicted with the same sickness as the uh, relatives to the north, will meet the same end. Even so, Micah sees light in the future. Amid his predictions of judgment, Micah gives hints about the Messiah, the future leader from the tiny town of Bethlehem, who will offer new hope to the earth verse 2 of chapter 5. And years later, when the Magi come looking for a newborn king of the Jews, King Herod asks the biblical scholars where to search. In Matthew chapter 2, they ask this. And those scholars refer him to this passage, which predicts that the Messiah will come from Bethlehem. And the question to reflect on today, how would you feel about adopting these words from Micah as a little motto, to act justly and to love mercy and to walk humbly with my God? Would anything have changed or have to change in your life? Uh, that's it for day 66. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a good day.